everybody welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing a diy challenge hosted by heidi sambal from happily thriving heidi thank you heidi for hosting this challenge today um, so for the first diy we're going to start with these little shadow box christmas um, things that i got at dollar general um, when they had their clearance sale they were only 25 cents each um, so this just shows you that you can take anything from uh, any season and transform it into something unique and beautiful for your home. So here I'm just taking some Waverly chalk paint and plaster and I am just going to give all of these a fresh coat of white paint. I actually did like two coats of paint on these just to cover up all the red and the green. So now I'm just taking some brown paint and I am just going to distress these a little bit, give them that farmhouse look. So now I'm just taking my brush that has the plaster paint on it and I am just kind of like going over that brown just to kind of soften it up some so there's no harsh lines. And yes, I should have took the sticker off of this thing first, but I didn't. So you can see me here struggling to get it off, but I do get it off in a minute using the end of my ruler just to scrape it off. All right, so now I'm just gonna take and make me a little burlap flower. And for all of y'all asking for a um, tutorial um, on the burlap roses, I will be doing that here this week. So y'all be looking out for that too. Okay, so now I'm going to take my um, shiplap looking paper that I got from Hobby Lobby a while back. Um, I always try to get it when it's on sale. Things like four for a dollar. And I'm just going to use the Mod Podge and I am going to put my paper on and 
I always let my paper, dr the Mod Podge on the bottom dry first before I put any on the top because it helps you not get any bubbles when you do this if you let it dry first. So now I'm also taking this little cardboard house. It was a Christmas ornament and um, we got it on sale too at the same time, um, just 25 cents. And I'm giving it a coat of the plaster chalk paint by Waverly. And I am going to paint the back of this too because if you just paint one side, it kind of tends to want to bow a little bit. But if you go ahead and paint both sides, then it'll even it all out. Okay, so now I'm just going to take my ruler and just kind of measure across here and see how wide it is because I want to kind of like score some um, lines in there to kind of make it look, give it that ship lap look. Um, so yeah, I'm just measuring right here and um, figuring out how wide I want them. Um, but I decided to go ahead and go with the width of my ruler and I am fixing to grab my little pickup thing that I got. Um, in a set from Hobby Lobby a long time ago when I got my silhouette and I am just going to score those lines right up against the ruler. Alright, so now I'm just going to take a small paintbrush and my brown paint and now I'm just going to go into those grooves that I just scored and kind of um, darken those up a little bit. So here I'm just taking my paintbrush and I am going to go over the whole thing to give it a distressed look. Um, you will see here in a minute how I get too much paint in certain areas, um, but that's fine because I'm going to go back over it with my plaster white paint and blend those together and kind of um, tone that down a lot. Um, it's going to look so good. Um, you know, you can always go back over something with your original color of paint if you get your second secondary paint like too dark or too much in one spot.
So you can see here how I'm going in and I'm blending all those colors together with the plaster paint. Baby, I will show you how you can catch my vibe And right away I so much time Looping in the blurry lights Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got the system, my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of Now I'm just going to take that same paintbrush, that small one, and just go back in those lines with that brown paint a little teeny tiny bit just to kind of define it because I did get some white in those grooves. Okay, so I just got this like little stamp set um, at Target. Um, it was in the Valentine stuff. And um, I'm just gonna use the stamps. Um, what I did was I put them together and put some masking tape on them just so I could kind of keep them even or try to anyway but you know they're made a little funny so they don't exactly um, line up like I need them to um, so now I'm just going to take these little wooden blocks from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to kind of glue them on the back with some hot glue to kind of make a stand um, for my little house Okay, so now I'm just going to take this little heart stamp and put a little heart on the bottom. Um, and now I'm going to make a little baby teeny tiny burlap rose. Um, I cut that down really, really thin just so I can make a teeny tiny one. It kind of winds up looking like a bird nest. <laughs> You'll see in a minute when I put these little white um, things that I cut off of um, some floral picks things that I got from Hobby Lobby a while back I'm just trying to use up things that I have in my stash already um, just to make this as budget friendly as possible so now I'm just cutting off some little scragglies that I got um, from my burlap and um, making those um, look a little neater and then here in a minute, I'm going to take my lighter and just kind of cinch some of them 
of the edges just to keep it from um, fraying anymore. So I always listen back to my um, voiceover um, and I know you can hear my little grand dog Diesel doing his little soft kind of like bark in the background. <laughs> so now I'm just going to glue my little rose on there that looks like a bird nest <laughs> and, um, and then I'm going to take the little white things that I cut off the floral and put those in there too. So then it really does look like a little bird nest with some little bird eggs in it. And even though I'm making this little house as like part of my Valentine's um, DIY challenge, this can easily go into spring. And um, actually you can use it all year round, I think, because it's a neutral and a uh, very farmhouse. Watching this back uh, during doing my voiceover I just realized that I could have just left those together because they kind of look like little hearts on the on the stems and that would have been super cute and I may go back and change that but for now it's just gonna keep looking like a little bird nest Okay, so now I'm going to take this little glass bottle that I got from my mom. I just thought it was really, really unique and cute. Um, I'm not sure exactly what was in it. Maybe syrup or something. I'm not really sure. Um, but I just love the shape of this bottle. So I'm just going to take my plaster chalk paint and give it two coats. And then once those are dry, I'm going to go back and wet distress it with a wipey. Okay, so now I'm just taking a baby wipe and I am just gonna distress um, all the raised areas on the bottle. And um, just kinda like, not in any particular order or anything, just like kinda just sporadically here and there, just to give it that um, rustic look. The great thing about chalk paint on glass is it will rub off pretty easy with a wet distress. Um, so um, in order to keep it from rubbing off any more um, after I distress it, I am going to cover it with Mod Podge. Um, it's not going to be waterproof or anything, but I'm not going to have it around any water. And um, it'll just help keep that paint, the other rest of that paint from um, scratching off so easy. Oh, I love it. 
Okay, so now I'm just going to take some um, jute, string, cord, whatever you want to call it, and wrap that around my jar and tie a little bow on the front. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm loving the jute um, trend right now. Um, I think it's so farmhouse, and um, I just love it. Um, and then I'm going to take some floral, um, some frosted boxwood that I got um, in a little pumpkin um, from Target Dollar Spot two years ago, I think, um, for Thanksgiving. And I'm just going to stick that in there. And, um, and then I just took um, the little white bead pick thing that I had and in order to make those stems look really cute I just twirl, wrap them around a pencil just to give them that coiled look um, I know you can't really tell with the boxwood in there but I, I just think this turned out so cute okay so here is our final look at all three projects that I did today um, this literally cost me under a dollar because I had all the other stuff already on hand I used what I already had um, the jar was free and like I said the other little two things were 25 cents each so 75 cents for them and look at how you can take something and totally transform it into something else so anyways thank you all for watching today um, be sure to go check out the description box and watch all the other videos in the playlist y'all have a great day see you later